What's good, YouTube? It's Ray Jarrell. So, in today's video, man, I got some more of my CFL gameplay. So, if you enjoyed this gameplay, man, please go and drop a like on the video right now. Go ahead and sub and turn those post notifications on. So, right now, uh, we are in week three, as you can see. Uh, we did get a really clutch dub against the Chiefs last week. So, if you missed that video, go ahead and check it out, man. It was a banger. Um, just go check it out, man, honestly. So, as you can see right here, we are playing against the uh, Panthers. Now, the Panthers user, he actually was in the top 100 at one point um, at the beginning of Madden. Uh, I believe his name is Pauly P729. So, uh, you might be familiar with uh, his name. He was ranked like 90-something around there. So, this is a high-quality opponent, not no scrub or anything like that. And most of my people in here are actually really good comp. So, um, you did see our... Uh, our game upgrades, not upgrades, but our game requirements that we need to do. I believe one of them was like score two touchdowns or offense, and another one, um, other one I forgot, <laughs> to be honest with y'all. But right here, we are upgrading our safety. That's our user right there, Tory McTyler. McTyler, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but that dude's really clutch, man. He has 92 speed. This dude covers so much grass. So right here, we do got Henry Ruggs, and I was trying to decide what I want to upgrade. I went ahead with a route runner just because I feel like route runner is one of the best things to upgrade with somebody that's already. That has already has a lot of speed, so I want y'all to take a look at the stats real quick. So you see he has 98 speed, 97 excel, 85 catching. Um, I believe he has like 80 something deep route running, so dude's really nasty. Um, this is honestly one of my favorite cards in Madden, if y'all have if y'all already haven't figured it out uh, already. So I do want to uh, take y'all to look at his team real quick, uh, just so y'all can kind of understand what his team is and how he kind of built this team. So right here, uh, that's my team, of course. So let's go to let's see, Panthers right there. So um, I do want to just take. I'm gonna take out through the full roster, by the way. Uh, so for quarterback, he looks like he has Derek Carr with 80 speed. Running back, he has Sony Michelle with 88 speed. Wide receivers, he has DJ Moore 93, 90, and 89. Um, I'm not sure who Brown is, but he also has Hamler who has like 94 speed. So that's pretty crazy right there. So let's look at the ends. He has D Ford and Alden Smith at end. D tackle, he does have Jaron Reed, who's not that good, but you know he does have Von Miller. So of course that's gonna make up for it. Deion Jones 91 speed. Uh, so that's pretty pretty. Much was probably gonna be his user 91 speed guy look at that 93 95 speed at corner so this dude stacked um i'm really excited he does that uh brown who does play on the cowboy then for safeties uh they're okay but i want i want to say he's gonna sub in those safeties so as you see right here we're gonna start off the game with the ball thankfully we do get a stop right in the backfield first play of the game so second and 11 motions him out um Nothing's really open. Gonna circle back. Look at that. That should have been alert. So I circled back on purpose because I knew I was gonna be able to alert that, but for some reason they just did not give me an animation. So third and nothing. Look at the defense, man. Look at the defense humming. Um, if y'all want me, um, I haven't decided how I'm actually gonna approach it, but I may make it to like an ebook per se for my specific defense that I'm running that you're seeing. And um, just let me know if y'all be interested in that because I don't I don't know if I want to give it out just yet. To be honest with you, it's right there. That probably should have been an uh, interception. So um, bad break for me to be honest with you. That was a terrible read. But right there we do catch him. But we just unable to get our feet down. Not even get a catch animation. I feel like that would have been a dot right there. We do got trying wide open. Boom. Go ahead and get down. Easy dots right there to uh, Derek Henry. Motion our receiver over. Put him on the backside slant. Got a post coming over the top easy uh pitch and catch right there for the easy first down so we are three for five so we're starting to catch our rhythm a little bit right here so right now i do want to run the ball to kind of mix it up and derrick henry being derrick henry is going to fall forward so nice little four yard rush for me so right here on second and six i believe he played man cover so we're going to have that post wide open right there for the easy touchdown to who else henry rugg so uh, he got first and ten look at this we have two people coming free right there like i said this defense is nasty um i'm gonna keep praising this defense Pretty much throughout the whole thing. So right there, screaming at him yet again. Second down. He's uh, 0 for 4 right here. So we got third and 10. I accidentally click, get clicked on my defense alignment, but I honestly feel like that probably should have been knockdown animation at the least. So that's going to bring up a fourth one right here. I figured he's going to run the ball. So I was testing out this other run defense I was playing around with that I really want to bring to y'all. Um, so you can tell I do have a lot of things that I want to bring to y'all. And right there, that's actually my current run defense. So, um... Be expecting those videos pretty soon to come out. Uh, I just got to figure out how exactly I want to scale it. It's right there. I don't understand this game at all because I have three people right there. If you go back and look, I have three people right there. And he split all three of those people for a walk-on touchdown. So, not walk-on, but for one play touchdown, I should say. So, it is 7-7, but it's all right. I think uh, we still have the advantage here. So, all we got to do is just keep scoring and we'll be all right. So, second and one. Uh, we got square over the middle. But I wanted to just test his uh, defense. He was... Um, 
the, the safety uh, looked like he was supposed to be covering the deep pass, so that's why I threw it in the middle. But um, thankfully, I didn't throw a pick right there, to be honest. So we do have first and 10 right here. I'm going to motion him over, had a backside slant, and then I got a crosser right there that's going to get wide open in a nice little spot for an easy catch right there. And that was probably about a gain of like 30 right there. So we're already driving down the field right there. I got my slant wide open. I'm going to take that. Henry Ruggs, of course, is going to hold on to it because he better not drop nothing. Um, so right here, we got first and 10. Got my running back open, but I also had R1 coming open right there across the middle. So like I said, we're just doing a lot of easy pitch and catch. So second and five, we're going to go ahead and run the ball right here. And I feel like I feel like he should have bulldozed them, trucked them, stiff on them, something. But for some reason, he didn't. But right there, we do have a dot. But look how I get cheated. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with this game with that animation where they just don't react to it. But um, then we get another unfortunate turn right there where that should have been caught. It was in his hands. And I even lit up when he caught it. But for some reason, like, he dropped it. But it's whatever. But right there, you see Hamlin with that 94 speed is going to show out. Uh, no way I can have somebody keep up with him. I had the wrong personnel on the field. So I definitely kept that noted so I could not make that same mistake twice. So second and 13, um, I accidentally I clicked on my lineman. But I feel like that should have been a hit stick. But it's whatever. He did a little nice couple juke. So he is three for seven. So we are doing a pretty good job containing him right there. That was a super risky pass by my opponent. I feel like that should have been a pick. So we got four for four right here. I'm lurking. Who's open? And that was my fault completely. I was um, I basically ran a cover three style on my defense, and that was a really nice read by him because I haven't done that the whole game, and that was just <clears throat> that was just an excellent read. So uh, we do give up the touchdown. So it's 14-7. So we need to score before half. Well, I would like to, I should say, right there. Uh, look at the pocket presence, and I'm able to throw that out of bounds. Um, now, if I didn't have that pocket presence, I would have took a huge sack right there. So thankfully, we did have the right pocket presence. As right there, we do find circle right wide open on the side. I had it square open across the middle as well but at the time I just wanted to make sure I got out of bounds without burning one of those crucial timeouts so right here they did make my um stick a little funny I don't know what that was on here but we did end up having to blow the timeout right there I got R1 I'm gonna take that get up the field and then call my timeout so now I got one more timeout and think about it had I not thrown um that post route I would have had basically two timeouts left so Anyways, I throw a risky pass. That should have been a pick. Um, like I said, this game is crazy, but that should have been definitely a pick. So I definitely got blessed right there. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. So right there, uh, we do get rewarded, thankfully, with the nice crosser route right there. And now we got first and 10. And we're already kind of in field goal range. We need a little bit more. And we throw a nice little dot on the sideline, toe tap to uh, Valdez Scantling right there. So we're on a five-yard line, 14 seconds left. And uh, I just went ahead and run the ball because I do have another timeout. And I wanted to see if I could just score. So I'm on three-yard line. So I'm looking to throw the ball. And if I don't get it, whatever. But right there. We find Henry Ruggs in the back of the end zone for a toe tap touchdown right there. So it's 14 14 going into the half. Like I said, I got ball at the half. So that touchdown was really huge uh, for the team right there. So you see, Phillip Rivers is 16 for 23. So he's putting in a whole lot of work right there. We try to get a little stick with Derrick Henry, but um, I don't know. I don't have success running the ball, but a couple times I really do. Um, right there, Derrick Henry, boom, on the sideline, going to get out of bounds. And y'all can tell already, I use Derrick Henry like a receiver out there. So uh, right here, we do got first and 10. I got square open, but I also had R1, but I, I don't know. I just didn't trust it. So I said, you know, let me just take the four sure yards and just get down because uh, sometimes they might let people break back to the ball and pick it off, some crazy stuff. So right there, I had to make my opponent choose. He chose wrong, so I went ahead and threw it to my running back wide open. And now right here, we got first and 10. I see R1 lighting up, but I want to triangle right there because he he didn't have nobody out there so um the lethal thing about my offense is that i'm going to attack every area, every area of the field so it's just up to me to find the right area of the field so right here second and three i mean the hole is just wide open i can literally drive a truck through that hole as we get an easy touchdown right there so it's 14 21 run defense shows up right there so looking pretty good right there i forget who that is um but hopefully he can get us some upgrades. I don't even remember his name. He needs a star, so I can know his name. But right there, we do play great defense. He has to throw the ball away. So he's 6 for 11, so he's definitely struggling on offense. So right there, he does have a slant. And look at that. I was holding triangle. I pressed triangle, and I just didn't get any animation. That should have been a pick, but it's whatever, though. Um, uh, as long as it didn't cost us too bad. But right there... He does run the ball. Five rushes, negative seven yards. So we've been playing excellent run defense. So right there, he does have the post, but um, that's just a great read by my opponent. I was taking away the middle, and that did get open. Excellent read. Right there, he's going to run the ball. And this was my fault. I believe in game, I actually pass committed. So that's why just nobody played the run at all, because I did not expect the run at all. So that was an excellent call by him. So right there, he is going to try to run the same type of play. But I had people right there, and then they just kind of didn't do anything. But... Um, I mean, that's what you expect on this game. So, right here, I did go man coverage with purples just so I could kind of shoot the run. I, I figured sometimes it helps to shoot the run in that. But right there, um, that probably should have been a touchdown. I don't know. Y'all let me know. But they did call him out of bounds. So, Madden was blessed me a little bit this game. Not even going to lie. Right here, he just made a bad read. It was open at first. 
but he waited too late to throw it. And uh, Dominic Rogers Camardi does have 91 speed, so he was able to uh, have recovery speed to be able to pick that off. So crucial mistake by my opponents right there. We are going to find our tight end right there on the check down. So um, at this point, I'm just trying to do clock management, take my little yards. I'm not trying to go for chunk plays. I'm just trying to, you know, just grind this clock down and maybe kick three points to win the game or something. So right here, I do have, uh, I had R1 and I had square over the middle. So I just chose R1. I chose square just because, and right, we got first and 10 and trying to see who's open. I thought I had circle, but right there, like I said, uh, for some reason, I was just getting blessed this game. That should have been a pick. So I should have thrown two picks already in this game. Not even going to lie. Um, so it should have been a much closer game than what it is now, if not maybe tied or if not me down, um, just depending on, you know, how my defense was playing. So right there, I did have X wide open, I seen, but I went ahead and I decided just to take the safer route and just throw it underneath. Um, I didn't want to risk anything crazy happening, um, like a safety jumping and picking it off or something crazy. But right there, second and one, I tried to run the ball. See, I be trying, y'all. I try to run the ball. It just, for some reason, don't work out. But right there, he played hard flats. And we're going to uh, make them pay for playing hard flats. And right there, we do find a nice little dot. So, first and goal. Um, at this point, I'm not, I don't even care if I score or not, to be honest with you. I'm just trying to take all his timeouts if he's going to call them. So, right here, uh, I did have X wide open, but I also had Henry Ruggs again for the uh, touchdown. Easy little touchdown right there. And as you can see right there, we're just screaming at him. There's really nothing he can do about that. I mean, he can, but you just have to know what to do against it. But it's hard to know what to do against it, if that makes sense. <laughs> but... Anyways, uh, second and 20 does, like I said, does find a nice dot. So it is first and 10 now. At this point, I'm not too worried. I know this game's already over as my user just completely falls down. I don't know what's wrong with this game with that. Uh, it's like if you touch your own line, they just fall down and do some like random stuff. But it is what it is, I guess. Right there, he does find a nice little dot over the middle. And like I said, I'm not really trying to play, you know, aggressive defense. I'm letting them take it underneath. Just not giving up a touchdown. I'd rather him not try to score. As right there, we do get a nice pass breakup. So he's 10 for 19. So he's been dotting uh, later at the game um, right here. I don't know. I feel like that should have been a pick. And it was a pick right there with Chris Harris Jr. getting a little suction animation for the pick. Can we get a little sticky? Uh, can we run away from him? Look at the linemen. The linemen are so fast in this game. It's ridiculous. But Chris Harris Jr. comes clutch with the pick. Now, I'm showing this play just because I didn't. <laughs> I had square, but I, I had to make the read, and I made the wrong read. I had no business throwing that. So, I did throw one. Like you said, I did throw one dumb pick. But we did have. Um, that was actually our only takeover. Our only turnover. So, you see, we did have 314 passing yards and 46 rushing yards with average of 8 yards of carry. So, that's pretty good, I should say so myself. So, Philip Rivers went 25 for 34, 314, three touchdowns. Shouldn't have been any picks, to be honest with you. He went 10 for 20 with two touchdowns, two picks. So, rushing, Derrick Henry, 10 rushes, 39 yards. Uh, Sony Michelle at 28. Henry Ruggs had 78. Adam Thielen had 88. And uh, Scantley had 64. So, you can tell we kind of did a better job of evening out our receivers this game. So, if you enjoyed this, like I said, please drop a like on the video. Um, it helps me out a ton. And just let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this because I haven't really get, been getting too many views on this. But for those of y'all that do watch it, I do appreciate y'all truly in my heart. So, right here, as you can see, Chris Harris Jr. is getting an upgrade. We got plus one zone coverage on him. We're upgrading our center right here who's going to have a uh, plus three pass blocking, which is always going to be clutch. And uh, as you see right there, well, I did it too fast. But anyway, that's going to be the whole video, man. I appreciate y'all so much. Y'all have a blessed day. I'm Rage Real, and I'm out.